that should be scattered up along and west of here I think there's one so we just have to make sure we don't try um, picking these up while we're near any frogs otherwise the frogs are going to aggro but this net has not caught any fish today so it's going to need to be more than five fishing nets sadly that one has a fish That one doesn't. I think they go further up. Let's have a look. Or maybe not. No. <laughs> I think they're mostly along the main river. Let's scamper across. So we're just north of the cottage now, we're going to turn north along uh, the breed in itself. There is a fishing net there, let's kill this worm. Two fishing nets. I think there should also be some on the far side as well, but we'll go up this side first. Two. That's not any. Can still go further north. So we can just about see Etched Candleff appearing out on the map there, just to the west of us on top of this hill. As I said, there's only kind of three ways in there from the south, which is where we came from, from the east, which we're about to see, because there's just going to be a gap in the mountains going up from the river. This is probably most likely going to be the way you come up from Rivendell if you guys come from this way. Uh, so yeah, just where this uh, inland bit goes here. And then from the northwest as well from Thoronhad if you're getting a uh, a horse to Thoronhad and then riding the rest of the way from there. That's four or five. Where are the remaining ones? There's apparently one to my south, and there's two south of the cottage, and one was indeed actually really far west up the river. So, I didn't see one, but apparently there was one there. And we're in luck, it's got a fish, right. So I should be able to hand that in then, and then hopefully our next follow-up quest should be the one I'm talking about. If I go a bit further inland, I shouldn't get dismounted when I try riding across. And I did anyway. God damn it. Ponies and hobbits, they're so crappy at crossing water. What do you need? I have to pick any of those. Might I take a moment of your time? Talk to Garbutt and carry out his plan to capture the creature. There we go. So this will be a quest instance. I think it did say it was solo only, so you might have to do this on your own if you're questing with a friend. So it's night time, we're waiting for somebody to arrive. Ho there, Garbutt. I'm back, friends. We will stop this creature. You will see. If you knew what it was, you wouldn't be so confident. I hope so. I'll be inside. My frying pan at the ready. And that's the great thing about Lotro. You can actually equip a frying pan as a weapon. It's got crap DPS, but it works. So, we will put the fish by the side of the house this way, Tristana. So, there's a convenient flat stone. Stick it here. You place the fish beneath the window there. Talk to me when you're done. You Keep watch for the creature. Keep your eyes peeled. The creature might be anywhere. So I think you might notice 
if we're stood right next to the fish. This is always the least exciting part of a hunt, Tristana. What was that? Where is it? He thought you heard something. He's going to run off and leave us all alone. Greetings. There's something out there, Tristana. I think the creature is headed near it's nearby. There it is again, a soft splashing. He is coming from the water. I will give you the signal to jump out and try to grab him. We want to be in the middle of eating the fish, so wait for my signal before revealing yourself. He shouldn't react even if he did jump out. But if we just sit here... Look at that! It's fucking Gollum! Although he's labelled Sneaking Creature, because we don't know it's actually Gollum right now. Here, yeah, fishes, fishes! Oh, he dropped it. Poor Smeagol, so hungry, Gollum. So instead of catching his own, he's going to notice there's some over there. Fishes? Why are there fishes, precious? Not yet. Wait for my signal. He's not giving a signal. He's just started walking anyway. Our fishes now, yes, precious. Where did fishes come from? We don't know, Precious. No, we doesn't, Gollum. Mustn't ask questions, or we might be the last fishes we eat, Precious. Come on, he's eating fishes. He's throwing them everywhere. Come on, Adward. Get the signal. Won't Oodaluk be sorry? No more laughing at us? No, Gollum, Gollum. Get him! Charge! Could have caught you. But we're not allowed to catch you. Axes! Enemies! Enemies! Precious! He runs off at lightning speed. You can actually chase him. You're not going to succeed in anything, but you will see him run off and then eventually despawn. If you can be bothered to chase him. Oh, actually, shit, we need to chase him. Um, crap. There he is. Yeah, I've got forced march. I have uh, increased run speed. I'm actually faster than you. I think he takes a different path to where he normally does because I thought he used to go north of the, north of the cottage. Shh, go away! Leaves us alone, Gollum! We're not leaving you alone. You're going to cause us so many problems later in the bloody story. If we can twat you over the head now, it saves us so much problems. Paddle, 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 precious. Okay, so he's going to go north. I don't know why he's paddling. I can I can stand up and I'm a hobbit, so... Not the most pointless sneaking any, any time. I could, I could throw spears at him. I could literally jump on him. Udlug, filthy hobbits. Oh no, filthy orc is no help at all. So he's climbing up there. In the meantime, there's some orc nearby that he was on about. What are you after? You rock bag! My lads didn't spring the sneak from the elf warriors for nothing. I've got orders to keep the sneak safe. He's got something he's supposed to be doing, see? And that's the last you'll hear of it. Well, no it's not, because I'm going to spank you. He's disarmed me, I don't have a spear. In that case, you can have a few javelins then until my spear comes back. Bang, there we go. Defeated Udaluk. Adward has suddenly decided he can move again. What happened to the creature? You lost him? Yeah, of course I lost him. You didn't come with me. You could have helped. Stupid NPC. There we go, finish that off. And that takes us back out to the cottage then, so we can hand that in. 
What can I do for you? And what have we got? We've got to bring the arrows and the toad stew back up to Richard Candelef. We need to look for any sign of Trim, Tim Strawley on the road to Holland. So if we go east of the cottage, there is this path which kind of goes up the uh, hill there. And that road does take us into Eregion. So remember this for later, you will need this road. That will take us to the Eregion region and also towards Moria. So whenever we're heading that way, which is not shouldn't be too far in the future, we'll have to go there to get our legendary weapon, even if we're not going to be questing uh, up in that region for a bit yet. But uh, if we go up this road, we're going to see a broken cart, and there's a broken crate next to it. And if we interact with that, a wagon lies broken on the road here, and there are signs that he was attacked. But we have no signs of a body, so where is he? Ding! 38. Fantastic. Quest action's available. We don't have time, though. Because suddenly, as soon as we interact with that crate, we're going to be ambushed. Now, if you're a burglar or something, and you can't be bothered to fight these guys, you don't have to. Um, that quest was completed as soon as we interacted with that, so you could just stealth or even just run away because these guys spawn some distance away. Well, see, these guys have some sort of quest for me. Now, I'll just take the Hobnanigans a quest. It pops up every time I get a level up. It's really annoying. I can't invest in Gar. Oh, I can't advance the quest while in combat. We need to recover wood figurines from these guys and find Tim Strawley. And we need to defeat more Garadain as well. Okay, so those quests to go hand in hand. There we go. He's dead. I think that's fine. We can complete the Hobnanigans quest just to remove it. And let's just see. So arrows to Wiston. He's on top of the hill. We still need this. Toast is ready to hand in. Stone trolls we can't do while it's daytime. So, okay, it's just those three quests for now then. So, I think what we'll do then, we'll do the worm one first. So, we need to head northeast along the riverbank until we can get on top of the hill, which takes us to these hills over here, south of the high moor. And uh, that's where we're going to do some of the worm quests. So, we needed to kill eight worms. I've already killed three just to save us a bit of time while doing other quests. And we may see a few more along here. As you can see, these mountains are pretty damn tall. Some ruins here. I'm not sure if we need it for the exploration deed, so I've just poked my noses in. But these ruins are going to be related to the Volume 1 epic story later in the game. Uh, so, I will not spoil too much about that. But as you can see, as soon as we enter, the sky darkens. It's an evil place. Uh, proceed at your own risk. It's probably got some level 50 mobs in it as well. Uh, moving further then, we have been ambushed by a worm and there's another one that's actually found us as well. Let's just whittle these guys down. That takes us to five of eight. So yeah, worms on the heights. We need to kill the boss worm that's up top as well. Might as well kill you. Not the rabbit. We don't care about the rabbit. Bethron branches, I'll take those. Another worm over there and some dwarf iron in the distance. So that'll take us to seven worms. And yeah, if I want that dwarf iron, I'm going to have to fight it. Crumbled cellar, again, this will be uh, related to some of the Volume 1 epic story. So I won't say too much about that, but if you're looking for it, it's also on the east bank. Seven worms. So you'll see now we're going to start heading up the uh, the mountain side here. I think you can still walk down by the riverside as well, if for some reason you needed to. 
Yeah, you can. So we are pretty much level with the, the horse stable master icon for Etched Candelef, but on the east side of the river, that's where the, the bottom of the slope starts. So we'll just head up here. And then it will turn back on itself. Actually, it won't turn back on itself. It goes in a bit more. There's another slope down there which heads back down to um, river level as well. But I've just spied a pair of nodes that I want to grab. So yeah, if we carry on northwards then, if I can just clear the corner. More Lebethron. Too good to miss. And this will eventually bring us to the top of the hill. Just ignore those Glen Bucks, don't need those guys. The worm's going to aggro, I don't really care. There's going to be plenty of worms at the top of the hill anyway. And to be honest, I probably should have kept a few in the pocket because I'm probably not going to be able to sneak to the boss without a few of them seeing me anyway. Um, but once we're on top of the hill, if we just head due south, we should be able to climb this hill here and go over the top. Spot some dwarf iron, go on a detour. We'll actually have a good view here. So due south of where we are now, over in those rocky ruins, there's like a island in the middle of that and like a, a ring of uh, lake or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, down where these trees are in the southern corner of the, the high moor there. And that's a good place to farm the worms and also for crawlers. There's not really a, a fantastic place to farm crawlers in the troll shores, but if you're deed grinding that's probably the best place to do both of them because you get them done at the same time. And that's also where the, uh, the daddy worm is. But we'll kill him in a second. Where we're headed is just to the southeast, southwest. Um, where there's these ruins. And be careful you don't fall off the mountain there, because that's probably going to be an instant death if you do. So this is a good place from which to look for Sarna Mill, because we don't know where the mummy worm's gone. So if we look in the distance, you see Sarna Mill crawling south along the Breenan. So it's basically where we've already been. So we'll bear that in mind. And then we'll head eastwards down to this lake. Fall off the mountain a bit. So Kirifalun, this is the worm place, as I called it earlier. So on the west side of this island, if we can try and avoid as many small worms as possible, we'll pull this one. So here's the daddy worm. So he's got 3.5k. You might want to put him on your own if you're on a squishy class, but screw it. Shouldn't go too bad. Turn that. I've almost lost half my health already, but nah, it's fine. So he's dead. That also completes that quest, and we have Sarnamul's flight, which is to kill the other boss worm. Uh, that used to be on a timer actually, but obviously it's not anymore. But if we have a look at the quest ring, that was back on the east side of the river, but a lot further south. So that's going to be even further south than uh, the road up to Eregion. So we'll go do that. And I think I will cut away and meet you guys there to save some time. Yeah.